Good morning. Our opening song is number 208. Praise to the Lord, 208. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the font of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Reading from the Lord of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and shown the dawn its place, taking hold of the earth? taking hold of the ends of the earth, for the wicked are shaken in the surface. The earth is changed as is clay by the sea, and died as though it were a garment. But from the wicked the light is withheld, and the arm of pride is shattered. Have you ever entered into the sources of the sea, or walked about in the depths of the abyss? Have the gates of death been shown to you? Or have you seen the gate of darkness? Have you comprehended the breadth of the earth? Tell me, if you know, if you know all, which is the way to the dwelling place of light, and where is the abode of darkness, that you may take them to their boundaries and set them on their own paths? You know, because you were born before them, and the number of your, of your years is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of little account, and what can I answer you? I put my hand over my mouth. Though I have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. If 
all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting ways. Work can I go from your spirit? In your presence, work can I flee? If I go into the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. Grant me, Lord, along the everlasting ways. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle in the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting ways. Truly you have formed my hands <coughs> and knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting ways. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst have been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Jerome, who is a priest and doctor of the church, and he was known to take the scriptures and put them into the language of the people, which was the Latin language. And he had that famous quote, that the ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ. Because all of the scriptures, the Old and the New Testament, reflect Christ. The Old Testament foreshadows Christ, and the New Testament proclaims Christ, and also the meetings of the church with the letters of St. Paul, Peter, James, John. So it, it's, it's, a, it's the source for us to find Christ. So today, I would ask that on this day of St. Jerome, maybe take 10 or 15 minutes to reflect on some scripture, to reflect upon some, something that, you know, maybe there's a quote that we enjoy or, or something like today, one of the today's readings or whatever it may be. But take some time to read the scriptures and to reflect and to see where Christ is in those words. Mindful of our needs and the needs of others, let us place them before the Lord. For our church and our
in our mission to live as faithful disciples. May the Lord strengthen us in this holy work. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our elected officials, may the Lord impart upon them the spirit of wisdom. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who suffer from racism or prejudice, may the Lord bring healing to their pain and justice to their oppressors. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, may the grace of this sacrament transform us in the image of Christ's love and mercy. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those under the patronage of St. Jerome, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety forces of our cities and for all those in the armed forces, as their duty is to protect us, may the Lord protect them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, may the Lord in his mercy welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. As we remember this morning, Raymond Adams, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Prayers and arms. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, hear our prayers this day and answer them according to your will. We ask this for your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours would be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the greatest glory of his name, for our good and the all of the Holy Church. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life 
Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Edward our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 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 Lord,
Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saving victim, open wide the gates of heaven to us below. Our foes press on from every side. Your aid supply, your strength bestow. To your great name be endless praise, immortal God. Amen. 